welcome to Overboard. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing like Kayon's new 115 millimeter airless wheel kit for any belt drive setup. And talking about why I personally think that if they perform anything like my buddy Colton's 125 millimeter airless Eovins, that like Kayon's are for sure the best value for any middle of the road type of wheel between street wheels and pneumatics. And I'm going to show you. So with that being said, let's compare the styles and the prices of the competitors' wheels. So we're gonna start with Ansara because they offer the same exact product as Lekayon. Now Ansara doesn't offer a kit, so it all has to be purchased separately and I can still barely believe what they are charging for what I think is nearly the exact same wheels and gear setup as Lekayon. For $150, you get a set of the same 115 millimeter airless wheels and for $140, you get a plastic, and I repeat, plastic set of Kegel 42 gears with belts as a kit on Ansara's website. That's $290 before taxes and shipping just for an airless wheel setup, while Lycaon's 115 millimeter wheel kits are only $170, claiming the gears are made of hybrid nylon, which is also a type of durable plastic. The difference between the two is $120 for absolutely no reason, and you're getting seemingly the same exact product. So if that is true, that is crazy. There are some other companies that offer airless wheel kits like Eovin, but you're stuck with red rims on 125 millimeter wheels, or they have a smaller diameter 105 millimeter wheel, both costing you $20 to $30 more for a whole kit over Lycaon's 115 millimeters. But I will point out that they are using aluminum alloy gears and rims at Eovin. But now, for the urban, all-terrain, off-road, most infamous middle-of-the-road wheel of all, the cloud wheel. With a full gear and belt kit on 105 or 120 millimeter wheels, every set that they offer comes at $169.99, the exact price of Lycaon's 115 millimeter airless kit. I have no words for that in regards to the legitimate performance to price ratio. It's just nuts to me, and if these wheels that I have perform like I think that they're going to, anyone who's on the fence, I hope to see this video first. Now let's go for a ride. All right, guys, well, I got her on the ground. Me and my buddy Colton here are gonna take her for a little cruise. Let's get it. All right, let's go. All right, we're headed out. We're gonna go down this little dead end right here and take it across the grass. Let me show you what it's like. We're headed down this path. I thought it'd be a good time to mention uh, Beast Board has some wheels called Wind Wheels. They're 110 millimeter, but they're also 160 bucks just for the set. And you don't get no gears, you don't get no belts. It's just 160 bucks for the wheels. And you know, I can't atone to actually how good or bad they are, but it's just another option that I thought I'd put out there for you guys while we're out here just riding around. All right. Let's get it. Got a nice little straightaway. Go. Smooth as a whistle. So this might be a little off topic, but I just saw something that I've never seen before. It's super awesome. Check this out.
I hope you guys can see that. All right, guys, so after spending the last 10, 11 miles on these wheels, I can 100% uh, recommend them to anybody. Definitely quality, definitely in balance. They're uh, doing every single thing I ask them to do. They carve hard, they're popping rocks out, cracks, gravel, grass, anything that I put it on, it's been handling it like just fine this whole day. I, uh, I also got the new pneumatics from like k -On, but I'm not gonna put them bad boys on the dirt until I get myself that TRX 3.0. Take it out on the street wheels for a little bit and then swap it out and put the pneumatics on it and uh, we're gonna be good to go. I'm just excited about everything to come and I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.